It's the worst typhoon to hit the Philippines this year. Bopa slammed into the southern island of Mindanao, bringing heavy rain and winds of up to 210 kilometers an hour. Even for a country accustomed to violent weather, this was a truly massive storm. Roads were closed, bridges damaged and crops destroyed. The flimsy wooden houses provided no match for Bopa's strength. I was in the kitchen, then I heard a crack. Something fell on the entire house. Everything collapsed. For many people here, the typhoon brought back painful memories of this time last year, when Typhoon Washi killed 1,500 people. Typhoon Bopa had twice the wind speed of Washi and carried more rain, and there were fears there could be substantial loss of life this time too. But this year, there was more warning, and even a personal plea from the president. This typhoon is not a joke. It's the potential destruction it could cause. This could be the strongest to hit the country this year. He urged people in the eye of the storm to flee their homes for makeshift evacuation centers. Tens of thousands heeded the call. They'll stay in these school halls and basketball courts until the winds and rain die down when they can leave to inspect the damage. Officials are desperately hoping that by being more prepared, they'll have averted the high casualty figures seen all too often in previous Philippine typhoons. Kate McGowan, BBC News, Manila.